Wow. I wanted to know every single test that the climbing ropes have to go through. So I visited a rope factory and this is what I learned. First, construction test. This test measures the repetition in the pattern and has a correlation with how soft the rope is. Next, notability. We have this uh, Harry Potter wand. Harry Potter wand. <laughs> which also indicates how soft the rope is and is expressed in a ratio between the rope diameter and magic wand penetration. After that, a very particular way to measure rope's diameter weight and ship slippage, where the rope is being squeezed through a special machine which shows disbalances between the core and the sheath of the rope. The sheath has a move. But the real fun is in a torture tower, where the dynamic properties of the ropes are tested. And I was surprised to see that there are ropes with high static elongation but low dynamic. So I went on some deep journey to figure out which rope has the best dynamic properties on paper. So if you want to learn more about elongation, impact force, UIA fall ratings and more, I have explained all of that in great details in my full video. So if I stand here and the laser misses the marker, it shines straight to my eyes. Yeah, and then you get to stay home from work. <laughs> <laughs>